Back. Gangster mode. We did it. That was um that was quite interesting. Just said, hey, your shit's crashed. Unexpected shit, let's just gather some data on this. Restarts, and it's like trying to say you have the uh temperature warning. Look over my computer with the eight billion power fans I have on and the twelve percent CPU usage, and I was like, mm, you're lying to me. You don't know what's wrong. You're just saying some random shit. <laughs> um Right now, it says our CPU usage is somewhere in the 30% range. Um, with obviously OBS taking up 15% of that and other various bullshits taking up 1%. Bunch of 0.05s. We should be good with 30% usage. Not dropping any frames. Kilobytes are looking good. It's hovering around 30%. Ooh, Saijin. This is the first time it's ever done this to me, but that's uh, sick tech, bro. I'll keep an eye out on that. But something as weird has been happening since uh, the mandatory Windows 10 update. Update again. You know what I'm saying? And I know Twitch crashed the other day. So I'm hoping that we're good to go. Let me just make sure. Uh, let me repeat somebody's follow. Touchwood. Excellent. Yep. Everything's engaged. Everything is synced up. We're looking good. I think we can start the show, guys. Oh, you know what? Deepbot's not on. Thanks for thanks for looking out. That's the one thing I forgot on my checklist. Deepbot is about to get engaged. Loading up. Lady Brunstar, you may post as many links as you want. And now DeepBot is engaged as well. Definitely the system usage is a little higher than it usually is. It's trying to cruise in the 50% range. Keep an eye on it. All right. Shit's been weird. Okay. Let me make sure the uh, ancient Chinese technique uh, Windows tablet bullshit is engaged so I can see you guys in chat. Let's get the compressor going. Let's get this motherfucker going, homie. Sorry for the interruption. I know that that alone was enough to make us lose some people forever. Fucking C Cleaner is alerting me that we have too much. No, it's not a Windows tablet, Huff. I was just teasing. It's some bullshit LG. Like $75 tablet. <laughs> Just gonna have it up, just gonna keep an eye on it. Performance. Looking good. I mean it's like it's it's cruising back into the 30s, so I think we're alright. Alright, let's do it. <laughs> For real, the huff. No, I was just teasing. It's like a seven. It's like a two hundred dollar tablet from LG. It's I literally only use it for this right here. All right. You guys know how we always start this off. Always start with a little flow improver in the pot. I'm gonna kick this bitch off right at the gate, Prussian blue. Prussian blue all day. Directly into 
the flow improver. We're going to stir that motherfucker up. Gangsta Gumbo is about to be engaged. Player Jification. Cyburn's looking fresh. Thanks, man. Little Gangsta Gumbo right here. Make sure we're good. It's a little bit thicker than normal, but I'm this is the first coat. This is over a gray primer, guys. You know you don't see me. That's some rattle can shit right there. I usually use spray paint primer on bases because bases or whatever. All right, looking good. One last look over the shoulder. 25% memory. That's kind of high. It's because I didn't do a proper restart, but we're good. Here we go. Prussian blue. All day. And the reason I'm using Prussian blue is because the uh, tree lord that I'm doing the winter theme on, it um, is using a lot of blues, but for the ice effect, like it's total iciness. And I'm not going to show it to you guys. It's going to be a secret because I'm doing a full blown studio tutorial on it. Um, you won't see it till it's done in a tutorial. But the iciest parts, I'm using Prussian blue as the base. So if I'm if I'm going to strengthen the effect that it's icy, I'm using the exact same blue on the base. I actually run out of gloves, I think, so my hands going to get blue. Mm. Let's just make sure it's a nice solid coat before we start trying to highlight it. All right. It's pretty shiny right now. Let's get our focus up. Up, oh, Slack Zombie 3. What's up, man? Thanks for the subscription. Throw this man some love. Love you, homie. Thank you. Keep it icy. His Magnus, thanks for the help of my water clips the other day. Attaching the external chamber. Yep, that shit will sometimes fuck you up. Okay, so I found a glove that I already used earlier. I'm going to reuse it. Always reuse your gloves. That's a lie. I don't always reuse my gloves, but I should. So next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pour a little bit of this blue-green right in the pot. I'm hoping that I can get this thing unclogged. I'm not thinking it's going to go. We're going to have to open this motherfucker up. I love how they always get clogged on me. I've got the glove inside out, so it's like super slippery. That is not going to work. So we're taking some of this blue-green in here. Swirl it up in there. making a mess right now because this glove is inside out. I'm going to set this bitch down. Put the glove on the right way. <laughs> Crooked ladder, you're so ridiculous. Alright. Let's try to get this new mix. Subtle highlight to what we just did these two colors interact very well I'm 
Still pretty wet, but I don't care. So I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna focus down now and highlight the insides of these big squares. Like this. You see, I'm just keeping it going, dog. I'm just literally moving. And now I need to keep the tip clean. So that it doesn't just spurt all over the place. Where the fuck is my shot glass? Got it. Always keep the tip clean. Okay. Let's keep highlighting these little areas. And this is a very subtle transition to start off with. We're moving pretty fast because as we brighten it, we're going to narrow the beam, the focus. So I'm okay with it being a little all over the place right now. Let's get these lights solved. we go. Team Hank on him. Uh, Miss Simmons just got here and you're making an ice base for one of those Oregon dudes. This is for, uh, we're making it for the tree people. This is actually a desert Mesa base. Cracked Mesa from uh, pup, uh, Secret Weapon Miniatures. We decided that we want to make it an ice base instead. Welcome. So we're just coming in there, building up a quick highlight in the centers of these cracks. Second pass. And we're gonna have to be real, real careful as we bring it down uh, to the to the real highlights to stay more center than this. I'm trying to get the angle right so it doesn't just shine out on you guys. So as you can see, we're getting a nice little transition on the ice. LT in the house. Okay, airbrush is going to need a quick cool down here while we clean the tip out. That's not good. Just trying to just trying to mess with the angles of the light. That's what we're gonna do right there. All right, so we're gonna brighten it up now. Jag Mirage. I love it when you can when I can chat amongst people who know why you appreciate <laughs> and what appreciating is. Keyline Prime. All right. You're out of here, homie. Thanks for the host, brother. That's Keyline Prime. Enjoy the rest of your day, my man. Get paid. Got to go to work. Okay. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to pour out most of what's in here. I'm going to pour a little water in here. Modal, what's up? So there's a little bit of residual blue in here. And what we're going to do is... Where the fuck did that... 
Where did my stirrer brush go? Did I just drop that shit somewhere? Up, oh, there it is, iron headed. You hit it for me. So we're gonna grab a little bit of flow improver as per the use. Snag up a little bit more of this blue green. Put it in there, just straight up blue green this time. No, none of the Prussian blue left over for the most part. Get, get that tip clean, guys, always. Keep the tip clean. All right, so now second pass. Let's get a little bit more into it. Here we go. Just feathering it in. There we go. I'm going to have to clean the tip a little bit because it is spurting. Viking Teabagger, what up, man? We're watching. Refresh your page. Someone tell that guy to refresh his page. <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna drop a little bit more flow improver in the pot. A drop of water. Isn't it supposed to spurt? <laughs> We're trying to avoid any hazy and any fuzzy transitions. I want it to be like an uninterrupted flow of awesomeness. Here we go. Yo, I love how the, um, the Twitch app on the tablet all of a sudden has a bunch of ads in it now, so I can't fucking see the chat half the time. Uh, Caxi Chew. We're using a 3-5. Bringing some highlight love to the centers of these. This is a Desert Mesa base. Anyone new? Just tuning in. We decided we want our desert base to be an ice base. For our tree people. Like that. Okay. So I'm feeling pretty good about that. Let's let me get it let me get it lined up so it's not just reflecting all the light constantly. Best I can do right there. So that's just Prussian blue. Prussian blue mixing with blue green and then blue green for, for peers. Lady Brinstar. Sorry to hear that. You definitely need to try to get one, man. It's a game changer. Iron hit it. It did a buffering with an ad. What fucking ad was that? Yeah, you can get like a 40% off coupon at like Hobby Lobby or some shit. Get an airbrush. Okay. We're going to grab a little bit of white. I think I got some marrow white laying around on my desk somewhere. Iron headed. Where's it at? Where's it at? little marrow white I'm gonna pour a little bit of this marrow white right into the motherfucking pot <clears throat> I 
a little bit of white. Small Cave Studio, what's up, my man? A little bit more white in there. Flow Improver. Water. Gangster Gumbo. Pull the knee out. Let's get it going. Keep that tip clean. There we go. Excellent. McGrade. Thanks for the follow, brother. All right, so now we're going to come on more subtle right here. Let's make sure we're focused. All right. More subtle. This is more air than paint. Excellent. Evil Dead, man. Thanks for the follow, homie. See, now we're just bringing the, the centers out. Blowing some pure air. It's like 99% air. 99% air right here. And we're just bringing that highlight up one notch. Big Weed 666. Thanks for the follow, my man. I truly appreciate it. Bottom of my heart, dog. Okay. This is where you really want to nurture it up because I actually watered down this mix super watery. And that's why you want to come on so hot with air and just barely tilt back and let any paint through. So basically that watery ass paint is drying super fast. It's also, uh, paint is gonna have a less likelihood of having like that weird speckling effect that you, that you wanna avoid with transitions. The water, the more water you got in the paint, the less likely it is to do that all day. Okay, I'm going to come down there and just focus fire because all that's drying, it's going to get a little muted as it dries. So, just going to give it another quick blast so it doesn't forget how bright I want it, you know, because paint, paint remembers. There it is. And we're really just narrowing it now, like real central total radial highlight I let that sit for a second I'm gonna wash out the airbrush real quick in my hobo sink at the base of my feet take this opportunity to say thanks for sticking with us guys I had a little bit of a technical issue here earlier again computer decided to restart on my ass and it tried to pretend that it was some overheating bullshit which it wasn't but we're back I want to do a shout out um, we had some donations just before we, we fell apart Bishinya Bishinya I think that's what's up Yori Kasudan, my man British Pete, thank you guys so much for the donations. And Interrupted Speed, Slacks, or Slack Zombie, um, and somebody else came in hot with a subscription. Bishinya, he did. Thank you guys. Bottom of my heart. Literally helps me keep the lights on. But, I don't just take all those dollars and put them right in my pocket. We got loot crates to sell out, send out. I, I literally already have a bag half full of more swag I got to mail out to you guys. I just got another order in of promotional items from Elric's Games and Hobbies. We got some more of those bases. Anybody who got some of those bases last month remembers how clutch they are. We are putting secret weapon uh, field of screen bases in the gift bags for next month too. With a 15% off promotion code. That's only good for October. Totally Halloween themed. You get 15% off on your next order. 
secret weapon. Actually, it works all month, so we're getting real. Getting a lot of support from the community. It's making me happy. All right. Sorry, guys. And what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to just make sure the airbrush is good to go. Make sure there's no clogs because the next thing we're going to do is whites. And white will fuck up if you don't have that shit right. Once we get the white down, we'll take a Q&A break and do some show and tell time. But I want to get this white first. Flow Improver. White. Water. With your powers combined, we can gangster gumbo that shit. There we go. Thanks for the follow, um, Diocese, and also Visible Dog. Thanks, truly appreciate the follows. Always keep it icy. All right, here's the next stage, guys. This is where it's gonna get hard. White will fuck you up because of the, because of the contrast differential. T6 Ted. I don't even think one person is redeemed a gift bag yet. Um, let me look. No, no, nobody's redeemed a gift bag yet. So there's still like literally 30 gift bags available still, homie. And I think um, only one swag crate has technically been triggered. So there's plenty of fucking swag left in the pipe. Oh, no. Oh, it's just water. Okay. It's about to get real, real icy. Pure white, guys. Subtle right in the center. This is where the effect is going to get driven home right here, guys. The second you detect any kind of speckling, you stop. And you don't stop by just taking your finger off the trigger because that will cause even more speckling. I'll show you in a second. Stop. Take your hand off. See what I'm saying? Clean the tip. Back to business. Okay, let's re-intensify that white. This is going to give us that total shine, guys. There we go. Clean the tip. This is how, this, this is how you have to do it with white, man. Got a little water on the on the br on the base right there. I'm just drying it up with some water, some air. Sorry. Okay. There we go. Bring that super white right out. The more focus you can get with the white the more intense the shine is going to look. It's totally going to have a true glowing effect. Even though we're going for ice. I'm not a scientist. I'm not an ice scientist. There we go. Got to clean the tip. That bullshit off of there. You see I moved the base out of the way. It's because I don't want any backlash from cleaning the tip. There we go. And just keep getting closer and closer. As you control the double action airbrush more and more. I'm able to decide exactly how much paint is being launched out of this motherfucker. So I can get real close to the model. Right here. <laughs> and 
And that was my dismount so I don't speck all over the place. Gonna clean the tip one more time. Okay. There we go. Let's get that white popping right here in the corner. There we go. Just like that. Boom. Desert Mesa. Ice base. How long did that take us? 20 minutes? <clears throat> uh, Jagged Mirage. Um, it's a double action airbrush. The PSI is whatever I want it to be. You know what I'm saying? Like I was talking about this with my boy Slow earlier today. The way I airbrush is I take the regulator on the compressor and I turn it all the way to the right so it's the highest it can possibly be. So that way, one with my double action airbrush, pressing this button down decides how much of the air I'm using. That's all of it, right? If you just hit it, that's all of it. That's a little bit of it right there. All of it. I don't know if you can hear any of that, but the idea is if I have all my PSI available to me, then I can just use it at all times. Like, I don't use single-action airbrushes. So, PSI is halfway irrelevant. I use as much of it as I possibly can almost at all times. And then I train myself to learn how to use all the delicate finger work required to manipulate the PSI at my disposal. I'll look down at my compressor right now and tell you what it says. It says we're at 31 PSI right now. Because it's struggling to keep up with me because of how much PSI I use. Alright, so let me dump this out real quick so it doesn't dry in our airbrush. Let me set this aside for one second. Show you a quick cleanup hack. I'm going to dump this right in here. And we're going to just circulate some of the... This is cleaner and water. We're going to use the toothbrush, scrape out the interior, just like that. Turn the compressor off, keep the airbrush from drying up. I've never said beast mode in my life, that's not a real word. And let's just take a look at our, our, our base so far. So this is our, this is our ice base, like I said, anyone just jumping into the stream. This is actually marketed as a desert cracked mesa. We're going to turn all this into nice brown dirt. These big rocks are going to get painted up like rocks. And then we're going to use a snow effect to drift over the rocks and dirt and into the ice. This traditionally would have been a desert plan. That's not how we roll. Let me put this up right here. And I'll show you guys a couple more bases here in one second. I need a smoke and ice tea break. Getting itchy. All right, Viking Teabagger, how often do you change that cleaner cup? Almost every day. I mean, like, if it's, like, just a little tinted, I'll leave the airbrush in it for, like, two days if I don't use the airbrush in two days. But then once I start getting heavy in a project, I mean, I'll just change the water out right then. Death a-knocking. What's up, man? Let me just put these. Get, these guys are on my workstation. Okay. <laughs> it's not a word, it's a way of life. Hashtag beast mode. Modal, I can't take all the credit for using it as an ice base. Optimus Stein, one of my favorite people on earth, he's the one who had the idea. He said, hey, hey Kenny, take a look at this base. And I was like, yeah man, what's up? He's like, do you think you can make that into ice? I looked at it for about two seconds. I was like, yes, obviously we can make that into ice. Alright guys, it's also going to be show and tell time. Lady Brinstar is the first one up. Show and tell time. If you guys want me to look at any pictures, post a link. I'll throw them up and we'll talk about them.
Um, Viking Teabagger, I don't keep it in the water, like, totally dunked. It's just literally the cup is in the water. And I, I mean, I, I put a lot of mileage in on this water clips, man. Like, it's still doing what it does. Okay, Lady Brinstar. She's got some Tyranids. I assume it's a lady. I assume it's a she. There we go. I think she said this is a working... Sorry, cheers, guys. Oh, my God. I took a sip without it. Oh, my God. Thank you guys so much. <clears throat> Donations, subscriptions, yo dogs, swag, giveaways. Literally, you guys make this the most... Ugh. You guys make this the most enjoyable part of my week. Cheers, my man. Cheers, my ladies. Cheers, everyone. Always keep it icy. With iced tea, obviously. It's just iced tea, guys. Just iced tea. So, Lady Brinstar, let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. <clears throat> I love that color scheme. Right out the gate. That shit is tight. You don't see a lot of people coming in with the black carapace um, on the hive guard. That is fresh. Great color scheme. Great choices. Great combos. Good use of clean execution of wash and edge highlighting. Scroll up, see what's going on here. Sin for game. Slot of priest. Let's see what you got. Sin for game. Another lady. We get the most ladies on next level painting Twitch. I don't know what it is, but it's just a fact. All right, Lady Brinstar. Baller, great job. Let's throw up Sin for Game 69. And his name is John C. My time is now. You can't see me. Yo, that's my man right there. It's Twilight Forge. Throw, this, throw that man some love. Exclamation point hype. Throw some smear off ices. He's an old schooler. I appreciate it, homie. And why am I disconnected from my fucking chap on my mobile? God, the new shit is so dumb. God, it's upsetting. Anyway, uh, Twilight Forge just earned himself, I think, 200 yo dogs. He's gonna be getting some fucking shit in the mail soon. Anyway, let's talk about a sin for game. Sydney. Can I call you Sydney? This is awesome. Great use of. You know, I think you're using a semi-gloss. That skin looks real good. I like how you got that effect. It looks like a real dude. That's what I like about that. Um, semi-gloss or gloss effect you did on the skin. Good choice. Good choice. Cydrian. Oh, the Dark Shroud is looking so tight. Cydrian is not playing games with Dark Shrouds right now. So I'm just keeping a I'm just keeping an eye on the CPU usage. I'm trying to see what's going on. Clicking all these links is just adding one percent. That shouldn't be a problem. Try to figure out where the extra. Uh, no, nah, just dropped down to forty instantaneously. I don't fucking know. It's acting weird. I'm gonna keep an eye on it, guys. My computer usually does not fuck up. This computer has been built for what we're doing. I use this. <laughs> it's uh, never had a problem before. It's so embarrassing. Okay. Sidrian, let's take a look at this dark shroud you've been working on with the gigantic pictures from Imager. So the dark shroud is not an easy model to paint. Look, he came in so clutch with the airbrush on that window, and then came back in and cut those um, frames back in. Great job, my man. Great job. Big Razer. God damn, Instagram, I gotta snip those out. Hold on. Let 
We got all the secret tech. Okay. That's an amazing dark shot, my man. But Big Roger is up now. Let's take a look at what he's working on. Looks like some ogres from Instagram. Some plague ogres. Damn, these look good, brother. That's some that's some suitably Nurgle action right there. One second, guys. Good job, Big Roser. Back in the game, just communicating with my with the uh, world's greatest mod, Iron Headed. Let's take a look at like o Ogre Bard paintings working on some shit right now. Ooh, I love this. <clears throat> I don't know what this model is, but it's so cool. What is this guy? This guy's face is so cool. Ogre Bard. Lady Brinstar, yes, in fact, is a she. We have added another lady to the ranks of this channel's friends. Welcome. And you know you get you, you get you get the mandatory flex. Up oh, forgot to call you out. Always throw a bicep out for a lady. I'll tell you what, in all my years, it hasn't done much. But I don't stop. <laughs> uh Chipple Laskag. Chipple Laskag. Any tips on what paints to get? Starting back in the painting, I took five year hiatus from Warhammer, and my old paints have gone to shit. Yeah, dog, pretty soon we're going to do a video on, like, all the next level painting uh, paints that we like to use. Evelyn, Evelyn, er, Elv, Mr. Snowman. Thanks for the follow, my brother. Um, P3 is great. GW is okay for, for brush painting. It's not my favorite. Vallejo is pretty good. Uh, not the best brush paints either, but they're great for the airbrush. Vallejo Air is really good. Um, there's something in every line of paints that I like, and I will put out a, a comprehensive list here soon. Don't worry, brother. Welcome to the stream, homie. Real quick, I want to say, guys, before I go to the next picture, um, I want to talk about one last time. Tuesdays are our giveaway days. That is official. We are doing a giveaway every Tuesday. Now, obviously, we just did two back-to-back -back top donor to giveaways with fully painted models the huff and mighty cthulhu won those models all chaos themed this is the month of chaos for me but we're doing plastic models next tuesday it's not going to be a top donor giveaway it's going to be a straight up raffle no purchase to get in as a matter of fact you can't purchase a ticket because i'm just giving them to you it's going to be a keyword raffle at some point during the stream you're going to have to watch the whole stream that's the gimmick that's the hook at some point i'm going to say this is the keyword TabletopGamer.com Thanks for the host, my brother. So you're going to get the keyword during the stream. I'm going to say, yo, keyword beast mode. I've never said beast mode in my life. Whatever. It's going to show you in the chat. You say the keyword in the chat with exclamation point, you're in the raffle. The winner of the raffle is going to win literally a great starting place for the Chaos Warband and a new uh, Trader's Hate book. You're going to get a Dark Vengeance Lord. You can only get in the Dark Vengeance box. You're going to get two help roots. One from Dark Vengeance, one from the kit. It's like two different Hellbrutes. And you're going to get resin bases for all of them. It's like over $130 in models and bases. Literally, straight back to you guys. I'm going to ship it. Totally free shipping. International, whatever. Raffle, totally free. Next Tuesday. Every Tuesday is going to be a giveaway, guys. just want to let you guys know. You guys have been making this such an enjoyable process for me. I literally just been stocking up on gear. Give it back to you guys. All right, let's do a couple more show and tells. Then we'll get back to it. So this is where we left off.
Iron Headed, did you post the link? Snoodle Bug. Thanks for the follow. Keep it icy. Um, Iron Headed, you got something you want to show off, huh? God damn, Flicker. So dumb. Guys, take a quick snippet. No big deal. Okay, the world's greatest mod. Ironhead, he does so much work. He does six hours of work for the stream every week. Minimum. Let's see what he's working on. Excellent! Og Yuna. Og Yuna, thanks for the follow. Always keep it icy, brother. Uh, looks like some World Eater uh, Terminators. Totally covered in fucking blood. Blood for the blood god. Yo, all day, brother. Last week, we got on the homepage of Creative Guys uh, for painting. We hit like almost 300 live viewers. Totally unprepared for it. I'm hoping some of the people that are joining us today found us on the homepage in uh, the painting section. And if so, welcome back. Truly appreciate it. You are earning Yo Dogs right now. They're good for all sorts of redemptions to get yourself some free minis. Okay, Evil Dead, I'm going to check out your picture. Be sure to use at next level painting uh, so I can see it more easily because I, I don't always catch them when you just throw them up. This is great. I am super happy to see some chaos love. Okay, it's a huge picture. It is portrait. So I'm gonna I'm gonna scroll through it for you guys. Looks like he did some chaos space rings. I love the bases. I love the color scheme. There's some crimson slaughter joint right there. Ooh, yeah, dog. I'm a hundred percent all about this unit right here. Evil Dead says my first squad would be cool. Or some feedback would be cool. So this is your first squad, huh? Dog, good job, brother. John Grammaticus, if I had a nickel every time I drank my airbrush cleaner, I'd have $37 on me. It ain't even a thing. Viking Seabagger. All right, I'm going to do one more after Viking Seabagger, and then I'm going to source the next stage of today's tutorial. All right, Viking Teabagger's working on a banner. It's a work in progress, guys. But for his pink Marines, or his pink uh, Tempesta Scions, or whatever they are, good job, man. That is, I love the color combo. It's very, very I mean, I, I personally am not a pastel-style guy. I'm always, like, the super vibrant guy. But I love the blue, how it pops off that pink. I think that is a, just a true genius uh, color match right there, brother. Uh, Death Threat, same deal. Try to use the at next level painting. I definitely want to see these Terminators, though. Oh, my God. This is like literally I painted these Terminators in 1998. Can't wait to show these off. I literally painted them almost the same way, but way shittier. Mine were way shittier. Yours are not shitty at all. Yours are awesome. Mine were actually just shitty. Take a look at these old schoolers right here. Dog. <laughs> so beast. Don't forget, guys. Exclamation point. Yo, dog. You can check how many yo dogs you have. Exclamation redeem will take you to the place to use them. And don't forget, everybody who's on the stream for the first time, you all got a free raffle ticket for the end of month. One-on-one -on -one painting class with me. At the end of every month, we do a drawing. And at some point during the next month, We'll do a private painting class with a camera, anything you guys want to do. So definitely you want to use exclamation point redeem because you can't redeem your free ticket with the uh, ticket command. You got to go over to the page. Definitely going to want to do that.
Lady Brinstar, I'm Kenny. In case you didn't realize, that's my name. In case anybody who's just, just tuning in, my name is Kenny Bechet. Thanks for tuning in. We are Next Level Painting. It is my, the name of my pro painting company for years. We've been in business for uh, almost seven years. All right, there's a lot more in here. I'm going to try to pick somebody I've never picked before. I've never seen Last Smoke Jaguar. I've never seen that, so I'm going to do Last Smoke Jaguar real quick, and then we're going to shut it down until next show and tell session uh, during my next smoke break. This is a great work in progress, my man. And welcome to the stream, brother. Keeping it icy, homie. Alright, alright. Take a look at this. Last Smoke Jaguar is not playing games. Interrupt speed. My desk is overrun with paints. Point us to any organizers or tips you know. Uh, literally, I'm a mad scientist, uh, but I'm not a scientist. I just kind of track everything in my brain. Truly creative individuals don't use um, traditional organization schema. Slow Fuse Gaming, thank you for the host, my brother. Okay, I guess uh, it unhosted when we got interrupted. That is Slow Fuse Gaming. Give that man a follow. He is my bromance stream partner. Yo, we literally I learned everything I know about airbrushing from him, dog. He's coming up right after us today. So basically, unless you're OCD and you're creative, you should you should just be everywhere and you should just know where it is. That's what I do. Lady Burnstar. GW is fine. But if you like the if you like them, you're gonna like P3 more if you don't use P3. P3, like, literally is twice as much paint. You can even, like, take a P3 container and almost pour it into a GW pot and then fill the rest of the P3 container with, like, water and still and have two, two paint pots. Like, it's so good. GW's fine. GW's got a, the wash game, the technical game on such lock. Sidegen, is it wrong that I don't want to enter the raffle? I've already painted a Hellbrew, and I'm thinking I don't want to paint another anytime soon. You don't have to enter the raffle, brother. But if you win it, you can just sell them on eBay, bro. Like I said, it's like $130 MSRP, man. You can take it, sell it on eBay for 20% off, take the money, donate it back to me, and get yo dogs and buy yourself a swag bag. Literally, just broke the raffle for you, homie. Boss, grab nuts in the house. Boss Grab Nuts, I really want to show off what you're working on, but I can't. I said that was the last one. We're going to get back to work now, guys. We're going to get back to work. Okay. So I'm letting this dry up. Um, now, here are the two things we can do. I'm going to give you guys yet another option. We either keep working on the ice base we just made out of the desert base by painting the browns in, the rocks in, maybe dropping some wash in the cracks. I can pull up my paintbrush and work on this, or I can keep airbrushing for you guys and make this rocket pack have the same heat bluing that these guys have on their exhaust pipes. First five for either the base or the exhaust, that's what we're doing. In comments at next level painting, go. Looks like the base is going to win again. Yeah, definitely base overwhelming. Okay, we're going to keep it live. Mm. 
Always keep it icy. Whew, all right. I think about how I'm going to approach this, and while I do that, let me just, um, Twilight Forge, British Pete, Yori, Kasudan, uh, Bishinya, Bishinya, thank you guys for the, uh, donations, donations earn yo dogs, but also donations help me do what we do, literally dog, cheers, also all our new subscribers, aka Legends. Let's do it, guys. I figured it out. Seen the heat. Time to get icy. Let's do it, guys. We're going to get so icy right now. One second. Wait. <clears throat> Wait. Okay, just so you know, 15 seconds ago, I clicked send on a shitload of ice. Or... 50 seconds in the past. <laughs> Alright. Move the orcs off. Base on deck. I think I know what I'm going to do first. Hold on. Let me get everything going. CPU is looking good. I'm just tracking it because I'm nervous now. Interrupted speed. Love you, dog. Sugar Rush 22, thanks for the follow. A homebrew, thank you for the follow. Aguna, we already did you, but thank you. Keep it icy. Got everything up. Mm 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 mm. We looking good. Synapse. Thank you, my man. Fellow streamer. Fellow streamer. Thank you so much. Truly appreciate it. Alright. This is how we're going to approach it. We're going to do ancient Chinese technique real quick. Water bottle lid. Um, Prussian blue and black. Or we could just use the wash. I've got a great Vallejo wash that I've been, I've been really into lately. Blue wash. This is good. Oh, I love, I love you Twitch app on fucking tablet with all the ads. Also, Killing Time Painting, he's a streamer too. Gotta check him out. Okay. Pow. Some blue wash. We're gonna grab a detail brush. And we're gonna get icy, guys. This paintbrush is stupid. This is one of our paintbrushes in the not so tight category. Okay, so get some of this wash on the paintbrush, and we're going to do our best to get in these cracks. And this should add some contrast. Ugh. Got a little water right there. We're going to have to fix that. There we go. Not particularly exciting, but somewhat necessary. There we go. What I'm doing there is I'm just letting it kind of flow. And this is a blue wash. It's very dark. It 
And the idea is that we're going to create some real contrast on these cracks by doing this. This is really going to help it go gangster mode. Mm. And normally I would not go this beast mode on a base. But this is for the tree people. And the tree people are getting the royal treatment as it were. Normally you can just do some dirt, some dry brushes, some bit scenic add-ons. But when you're trying to create these incredible colors, you know, you can't slack. Especially since the iron, uh, the, um, the winter tree lord is going to be our masterpiece. Like, we're going as exciting with him as possible. He's going to probably get a 45 minute long studio tutorial that you're going to see on Patreon on YouTube. I'm keeping him totally under wraps until we're done. No pictures, no work in progress. I don't want to spoil it. So you see, we're getting a lot of contrast out of that, guys. Death and Knock and I've literally never said Beast Mode. You're wrong. It's okay if you go out of the lines a little bit here because you got to visualize the fact that there's going to be a giant motherfucking model standing on this base casting a whole bunch of shadows and shit. Like the fact that all this is so shaded is just going to be like when someone picks up the model looks at it and be like, damn, you're insane, dog. There we go. And this is definitely um, an exercise in control. We're going on undiluted with the wash. I want the wash to be its absolute darkest. <laughs> Viking tea bagger. You want to do this for every army now? The name of the game is Contrast for me, man. I would say if I had to define my goals with painting, I want it so that when I post a picture up of the model I finished, I want it to be hard for you to, to decide if it's an actual miniature or if it's a digital artwork. I want it to just be ins like you know totally ridiculous. Like, painting realistic is something I do I've done for a while but I've been playing this game too long um, uh, to not have experimented with something totally different you know like I like my colors to always be fresh my contrast to always be high and I like my contrast to be color based not like shade based or value based Color theory is a number, a really easy way to create contrast. So you can have like every color on the model be bright, but it can still have contrast. Red, white, and blue. Orgasmic. Orgasmic is just here for the yo dogs. He said he said beast mode. I didn't say beast mode. Like I've never said that shit. Literally, I've never said beast mode. Synapse, you're too kind, brother. Hype that man up. Show that man some love. Orgasmic is so icy.
You see how I'm not even like holding the base? Like, there's no reason to add two shaky hands when one of my hands is already shaky enough. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes, though, both my hands shake in perfect sync, so it doesn't seem like I'm shaking at all. We got a little aggressive with that line right there. Make sure to put a little snow on that one. <laughs> there we go. Spin this motherfucker around. Let's get to the center. Just like show. <laughs> it's the chaos PTSD, dog. You, you for real, slow fuse. Meth painters unite. Twilight Forge. Um, yeah, you know, hitting. I would have hit it with gloss, honestly. The thing is, is that um, you guys want to wait for me to gloss wash some gloss coat something, and then fucking take two hours before I come back to it. Synapse. You are a legend, homie. Hype that man up. Show him some love. Smeared off ice. But you're totally right, brother. If I was painting this in my beats lab in my own time, I would have glossed this first. You guys have seen me do it before. There's not enough time. I don't play games with the with the gloss. I let that shit dry 100% before I fuck with it. I did look at some pictures of ice cracking online before I did this, so I know that there's some really dark ice, some real dark, some credible contrast. Sometimes the ice is so dark it's crazy. Red, white, and blue. Oh yeah, that's my man right there. TabletopGamer.com, another streamer. You definitely gonna want to check him out. He says beast mode all day or day. I mean, you guys can say beast mode as much as you want. I'm just never gonna say it. I just don't really think it's that cool thing to say. That's why I've literally never said it. Throw the man some love, Paul. Make sure to hit all the spots here in the middle. As I keep rotating the base, I keep finding easier approaches. <laughs> Boss grab nuts nose. All right, it's looking pretty good. We're getting some pretty good contrast on this. I just spilled all the wash. Epic. I had a nickel for every time I spilled all the wash. Five, six dollars. And we do have some of that secret weapon crushed glass. 
it's going to make some great snow. But we're not even close to that yet. We still got to paint all this dirt up. I was thinking about painting the dirt as snow. But the textures would be so different that I think it would make the base look worse. So I'm just going to paint it as dirt. And then we'll lay snow over it for the exclamation point on the base as it were. So we'd have rocks, dirt, ice, and snow. Like we're right up against the riverbank, you know? It's like a big crack right here. Throw some snow over that. If I don't like the way that looks when it dries, we'll snow that up. We're almost done with this stage. <laughs> Slow fuse. Any issue with the grains coming out the base? What grains? You mean like the the snow? This is all resin, bro. Like this is this is a hundred percent. This is a secret weapon desert cracked mesa base that we just decided that we we're gonna make snow. There we go. Mm. Beast mode. Oh, yeah. Boom. There it is. Gotta clean the brush. Joe Darkblade, what's up, man? Beast mode? I mean, if you want to say beast mode, say it all you want, bro. I just personally think it's kind of a lame thing to say. Alright, so we're cleaning off the brush. Spin it around. Get some brush cleaner on here. Ogre Bar Penny, what's up, my man? Viking Teabagger. What's going on here? Yeah, this is for my winter tree lord. <laughs> Joe Dark to say whatever he wants. Okay. So, recap. That was easy as shit. Right? I mean... We didn't do anything that really takes a lot of skill. We just did things that take technique and mechanical know-how how to use our airbrush, right? So I do, I'm looking at it on the screen. I'm feeling pretty good about it. I'm pretty happy with it. We're going to paint all this dirt with the uh, earth tone. We'll throw some wash up on it and then we'll get these rocks of a separate, a secondary color. Maybe a bone wash down. But yep, we're going to let that dry for a second. While that's drying, I'll show you guys something. Ogre bar painting. Cheap throwaway brushes. I get them from Hofcraft. The brushes, all these little red brushes you see me using are Hofcraft. So, new tu new tutorial up on Patreon right now is this base right here, Field of Screams. Our little pumpkin patches, all the gift bags going out in October are going to have some samples of the, of the Field of Screams in them with a discount code for 15% off to go get your whole army ordered up. Uh, obviously, it's not a secret. 
it's October, and that is the theme of October is going to be some Halloween action. So we threw um, some. And his name is John C. <laughs> uh, throw, throw Wolfsark some love. Thanks, brother. He says, I'll never forget the time last year when I asked you for advice on if I should paint my Eldar red or blue, and you told me, just go beast mode, dog. It was the best advice I ever received, and I'll never forget it. Thank you. I don't remember that going down that way. I'm pretty sure I just said paint it blue. Like, I don't, I don't really think I said that, but... I'm glad you have a fond memory of me. Anyway, hype, hype this man up. Show him some love. Earn himself close enough to 100 Yodogs. So, we threw IV. We threw some grass. We got I got a bunch of um, autumn leaves coming in the mail. And we're just going to dump some autumn leaves all over this shit. It's going to be dope. So, here's our autumn tree lord. Now, if you guys want to see the summer tree lord, here he is. This guy came out equally baller. He's got a more clean base with more summer love, some flowers, some rocks. We had to come in and use our ancient Chinese cork technique to get this all mounted into place. But the Tree Lord is coming out fresh. We actually snapped his stupid whip and I had to putty it back together. Still have to touch that up. <laughs> Wolf Sark. <laughs> if you didn't film it, it didn't happen, Doug. But rest assured, the Winter Tree Lord is coming out this gangster. Uh, Pippinator, thanks for, for the follow, brother. Always keep it icy. The the Winter guy is going to come out just as exciting as these guys, but Winter. Like, it's going to get crazy, man. And, of course, let's go uh, do, a, let's do a smoke break and do a quick uh, show and tell. Guys, get your links up that I missed last time. Let's do some show and tell. I want to see what you guys are working on. All right. All right. All right. Oh, quick iced tea break. Viking Teabagger, you're going to be doing some battle reports with them orcs? Of course, brother. You best believe it. Like, I'm definitely going to. We might even do one soon. Some iced tea. All right, let's see what's going on in the Q&A. Let's see who we go to first. Bodil. Let's see what you got, homie. Got some work in progress for me. All right, modal right here. I love how everything's just stacked on top of each other. Is this the Death Guard army you're working on? Hell yeah, brother. Good starting place, man. I can't wait to see all that uh, rust and shit pop, out mo pop these models out. Remember to use that next level painting to get my attention with your show and tell. Oh, this is tight. Small, small Cave Studios. But good job, Moto. I love it. Death Guard is near and dear to me, homie. So I got to do a quick screen capture right here. Small Cave Studios is not playing games. He's got some blue also. 
Take a look at this blue. Looks kind of close to something we just did, huh? I'm loving that, brother. Nick P1, he's working on, I think, what is it called? A Revenant? A Tree Revenant? I've got about nine of those to do here coming soon. Good job, Small Cave. This is looking dope. Let's jump in, take a look at Nick P1. Not bad, brother. Loving that green. Diocese. A suit I was working on earlier this year. Oh, damn. This looks good. Let's take, let's take a quick snip of that. Take a look at di di uh, Diocese. I think that's what it says. Good job, Nick P1. You are a beast. This came out super clean, man. Diocese. Lady Brinstar, what you got? Carnifex. That'll be next. Good job, Diocese. Let's take a look at um, Lady Brinstar real quick. She has a card effects painted in the same scheme. Looking good. Love the black. It just it's not like um, a go to like color for a lot of tiered players. It do, it does have a great contrast though. Wolf Sark, you have you just started to cast night. Not much to look at just yet. Well, I can't wait to see some work in progress. <laughs> Interrupt speed nose. Yo, you don't cork your iced tea? You don't cork your iced tea? Mm, Mrs. or Mr. Simmons. Mr. Simmons. Let's see what you got. <clears throat> Ooh. Let me get let me get a snippet of this. All right, Mr. Simmons up next. Let's uh, take a look at some Blight King, I think is what this is. Love that color, bro. That skin looks good. The gore is on point. Viking Teabagger? Nah, I ain't gonna play no battle report with the tree people, probably. Dragon in the house. What's up, girl? Posted these on Facebook for blue. Um, let's see what you got. Dragon, she's up next. She's got a Necron army she's been working on. Good job right here. Nice and clean. Martha Zurio. Why do you look like the guy from Barter Kings? I don't know who that is. And if I had to guess, random genetics would be the reason I look like him. Chaos Ascending. Hey, Kenny, I followed your uh, YouTube Nurgle Play Coke video. What do you think? Oh, yeah, I saw this on Facebook earlier. Man, what if it's, I'm getting a weird. Uh, Link out of this. Let me see if I can take a screenshot of all of all of it. Let's 
Let's take a look. Chaos Ascending. We do have a YouTube video about painting a Plague Hulk. Not the best picture, I'm sorry, but hopefully you guys get the point. It's the best I can do with some... Sometimes you get a janky YouTube link. Interrupt speed, man. Take it easy, bro. Hopefully I see you on Tuesday. Wolf Sark. Let's take a look at your icy base. Wolf Sark says this is his attempt at keeping it icy. Wolf Sark, let's see what you got. First off, gigantic picture. Good job. Good job. Always like the huge pictures. I really enjoy this part. <laughs> it's so big. There you go. Looking good. Lady Brinstar's a hive tyrant? Man, I can't tell to you. They're all just bugs. Oh, let's take a look at this Glotkin. I think I saw this online too. All right, this is uh, TC War Room. Says he used my tutorial for this Glockin. Yo, man, I wish I could take credit for that. This Glockin is on point, homie. Take a look at that. It's a lot of that's a lot of great color, though, man. I don't know what part of my tutorial you use for this amazing beast. Oh. About to get back in on this base, guys. About to get back into it. Anyway, man, good job on that. Good job. One last reminder, don't miss next Tuesday, guys. You're going to want to win a, a Chaos Lord, two Hellbrutes, and three bases. About $130 worth of stuff. It's going to be a raffle, free entry, bro. Literally just giving this away. Chaos is the theme of this month. You guys aren't going to want to miss it. We've already given away some Chaos models. This will not be a top donator giveaway. This will be a raffle. Um, shout out to everyone who's donated today, getting their yo dogs. We got so much stuff in these gift bags going out, guys. I'm just keep filling them up, man. They got secret weapon tech in them. They got Elric tech in them. They're gonna have some uh, battle cap markers in them. They're gonna have literally everything in them. It's gonna be crazy. Discount codes. This is gonna be a good month going into October for gift bags. Okay. Mm. Let's get back to it. If I had to catch you this time around, I'll get you on the next show and tell session. You out of here, Synapse? Miss you, homie. Uh, Death and Akin. I'm kind of thinking next month will be uh, Blood Angels and um, Corn. I'm, I'm thinking about picking up the, um, some of those Corn HQ uh, boxes. I'm not sure yet, but I'm pretty sure Blood, Ange Blood Angels are going to be involved. Blood Angels and always 30K because you can't go wrong with 30K, homie. But I think for the giveaways, it'll be Blood Angels. All right. Let's move these orcs. New Blood Angels uh, supplements coming out, and there are some good combos in there. 
Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the color I've been using on most of the stuff already. And actually, I think I'm going to start because I, I usually start black. So actually, I'm going to start with um, charred brown. And I'm going to mix it in a little bit with uh, this earth color right here. Shake them up. Trying to find an ancient Chinese uh, bottle cap lid. There we go. Hairdo just earned himself like psh, shitloads of yo dogs, man. Over 200, well over 200, like 450 yo dogs. Says, let's keep it going, mother, uh, motherfucker. Basically, for a second, I was about to censor myself. I was like, what the fuck? We're on the internet. Like, my girlfriend's not around. I can say whatever I want. Anyway, hype that man up. Show him some love. I love you, dog. Bottom of my heart, man. Cheers. That iced tea tastes so good. Alright. Let's get some of this earth up in here. Let's get some of this charred brown. Let's get our bigger brush. Let's swirl this bullshit together. I want it to be a little lighter than that. A little bit more earth. Let's throw a little bit of water in here. One drop. There we go. Ancient Chinese technique. Two paintbrushes. We're going to use the big paintbrush. To lay it down quick. And I'm actually going to get a little bit of water. In this dried up cup right here. Just to help me spread out the paint a little bit more. Just like this. There we go. And you don't want to get this brown on the ice. So what I'm doing is I'm going to focus on this section of the base first. Get the majority of it laid down with this big brush. Like that. Set this brush down. Switch to this brush. This brush is rubbish. Brush is so dead to me. Switching to one of our smaller brushes. There we go. And what we're doing here is we're just pushing it out to the edge. Right up to the ice. The idea here is that you want the sharpest line possible. You want there to be a hard divider between the ice and the dirt. I'm assuming this is like right on the shore of a lake or a river. I really haven't put much thought into it because I'm not a scientist when it comes to ice. Like, I know how to keep it icy. It doesn't mean shit, though. It's 
probably like an associate's degree. I probably have like an associate's degree in keeping it icy. You know what I'm going to do here? I'm going to throw a little airbrush flow improver into this mix just to kind of help it not dry fast. I really don't want any of this brown to touch that blue. I'm willing to go slow here with a small brush to make sure this doesn't happen. Not bad. Tight. There we go. Add a little bit more brown with the big brush. I'm getting a little bit more ambitious with how close to the ice I get. Adding just pure water on and just pushing them brown around that I've laid down really thick. Go slow because you don't want to flick brown onto the ice by accident. This base is going to look so fresh once we get the snow on it. <clears throat> Secret weapon crushed glass is the truth. I think I'm going to mix it into like a paste. Trey Calico checking in. What's up, Trey? Ain't playing games. Is this the first time you jumped into the stream? Me and Trey Calico have a special relationship. Right now, Trey, what we're working on is this. This is actually a desert mesa base uh, that a company makes. And we decided that it's not going to be desert. It's going to be ice. And we're going to put a model on top of it when we're done. Right now, we're painting in the dirt over the cracked mesa that is actually ice. Because we keep it so icy. Oh, Trey Calico, first time hype. Thank you, pimp. Trey Calico, I think, is a mod over on Debbie Cat's stream. She's also um, a painter, but she's a digital painter. I catch a lot of you guys in on her channel all the time. Throwing marshmallows at each other. Throwing little bunny rabbit kitty cat faces at each other. I'll come in there and catch all my hardcore wargaming people in there. Just going crazy. Trey Calico actually got me into the Bad Boys 3. I'm going to be an extra in Bad Boys 3. Because Trey Calico wrote this amazing letter. We uh, pushed it over to Will Smith's people. And I'm going to be an extra. Alright, alright, alright. This little brush is a little annoying, but like I said, I don't want to risk undoing the airbrush work. Because <clears throat> that shit is annoying to repair. I'm willing to go slow here. Boom. We're getting a good look here. Steve90 News C. Thanks for the follow, my player. You are a true beast. All right. All right. What is it? Trey is my Kahoi. I literally don't know the terminology. I've had to have Ironhead explain this to me. Oh, shit.
Oh, damn. You can't see me now. The time is right. Nick P1. Yo, he just took the custom dagger jet up on Revlo. That was 3,000 yo dogs. Literally, he's gone. That's one of a kind. That's it. Brian Mole made that for us. 100% from the ground floor. Yo, show them man some love, some hype. Just cashed out 3,000 yo dogs. All day. All day. We may get another one of those in the future. Because I might paint one for Brian. Just so he can put it up on his Kickstarter when he gets to that place. But as far as it goes, that's it. That's the only one we got. Brian doesn't play games. Anyone doesn't know he converted all our orcs for us. Trey Calico. It's your first time. I'm going to show you some stuff. His Magnus. You, you're out of here, homie. I love you, dog. All right. Let me set this down for one second. This is his Trey's first time. I'm going to show him a couple, a couple of things that we paint on the stream. This is kind of like what the theme of our stream has been. Is these orcs right here. These have been um, heavily modified from their initial kit. The guy who just, um, the guy who won the Daka Jet, Nick P1, it was 100% built by one of our friends who converted this bike for us. This is an orc riding a bike that we painted. He also converted this orc riding a bike that we painted. Heavily modified. He also converted this orc that's on a bike that we painted. This is the doctor. He's in his nurse scrubs. It's kind of where we're at. We're a miniature painting company. If you if you've not um, now we're a Twitch streamer. We used to be pro painters. Still pro painters. This is some of the models we've also painted right here. We have been um, painting models of commission for years, and then we just broke into Twitch about five months ago. And now we're just sharing all the ancient Chinese techniques. Player jification. What's up, Pimp? Trey Calico, it's okay. You can say fuck in this stream. But I appreciate. These are freaking amazing. Appreciate it, homie. Back to Midness. Alright, let's keep this dirt going. We hit a, we hit a big spike um, on Tuesday. Trey, we were just cruising along doing our thing, and then all of a sudden, Creative decided that we were going to be the big page on painting. We had like, I can't remember the exact number, Iron Headed, he's the mod, he knows, but we had, I mean, out of nowhere, we got like almost double the amount of uh, viewers we normally have, and I was like, oh shit, it's time, like all these people who are just used to seeing all these other types of painting, and don't even know that like people paint toys, like, what the fuck are you painting there, dog? That does not make any sense. She was hilarious. It's like, dog, my name is Kenny Boucher. I'm a nerd. And I paint toy soldiers. Oakley Brave, you saw the sword tutorial? Yeah, that just hit YouTube today. Friday. The literal best of all days. Twilight Forge, what's up, man? And we do go pew pew. Iron headed nose. Just trying to get this dirt nailed. Come on, dirt. Cert seeing. Always keep it icy. Thanks for the follow, player.
We're on the top of hashtag of painting again. Oh damn. We're the big screen again. Well, let me know if it spikes again. Let me know. Cuz you know I don't pay attention. Nerd shall inherit the earth. John Grammaticus. It's a famous quote. Keeping it so icy on this base. And don't forget, guys. This is the Friday bromance. We, we're, we're, I think we're going to call it Freestyle Fridays. Me and Slow Fuse Gaming. We'll be passing the torch off to him in about an hour. He um he always keeps it icy and he's gonna be running some fresh tutorials today himself. We're gonna go in there and just shit on everything. Get these piles of dirt. Just going through and just laying down the the bulk of the dirt effect. And then I'll cut the details back in with a little brush. Like I said, the original design of this base, uh, Secret Weapons, it's a desert. It's supposed to be cracked mesa with um, a little bit of sand on it and some rocks. Optimus Stein, guy who's commissioning the Sloveneth, he hit me up. He's like, hey man, think you can turn these bases into ice? Within two seconds, I said, I always keep it icy. Okay, we got the bulk of the brown down. Let me toss the big brush in the, in the painting pot. And now we're going to pull the detail brush out. And we're going to cut some of this dirt back in, guys. Miniatures. All day. Don't forget, guys. Iron Headed. The current view of the icy base looks like the World Glove Micho painted on the World Leader. Is it the same pattern? <laughs> Impulse. That's how we do. Guys, checking your yo dogs. You get a yo dog for every minute you watch. You get extra yo dogs for following over to Revlo and uh, checking out my YouTube channel and my Twitter. If you're a subscriber, you get more yo dogs, uh, and uh, you get 20 yo dogs per dollar donated. If you get 1,600 yo dogs in a month, which you should be able to do by just watching, you get a gift bag. If you go over to Revlo and redeem it. Give bags are filled with all sorts of promotional products, including bases and promotion codes and models. If you get 4,000 Yo Dogs, you get a swag crate valued at $100 MSRP, MSRP free shipping. 30K and Death Mask is the name of the game right now, guys. We've already given up one of our 30K swag crates this month to Yori. So you're definitely going to want to use exclamation point redeem. Follow the links. Go over to Revlo. See if you want to redeem right now. If not, we also have a raffle for a one-on-one -on -one painting class every month with me over Skype or Google Hangout. John Bingham checking in from Pebble Beach. What's up, player? Glad you made it, homie. Everybody, if it's your first time to the stream, you get a free raffle ticket. Exclamation point, redeem, go over there, jump into the raffle, throw up your free ticket for that free painting class, uh, one hour long. Otherwise, it's 180 Yo Dogs per ticket.
I want to make sure you guys get all the swag. This dirt is taking forever. There we go. <laughs> Wi-Fi where the rich people live, John Bingham knows. Low life and you're getting some yo dogs under your belt. Don't worry guys, we stream every Tuesday and Friday and every month. The yo dogs don't reset till the next month. So this month there's actually an extra stream that we normally don't account for, so you have an extra opportunity to get yo dogs. Alright. Let's bang this let's bang out this uh, rock effect just real quick. So I want these rocks to be a true neutral. Oh, maybe a bone color. Ah, gray. We'll do gray. You were in Mexico, low lifing? We're going to draw some gray off on these rocks just real quick. This is actually primer gray. Just want to get a quick coat in real quick. Just so we can kind of see the whole scope of the base just real quick. Killing time painting. I'm not saying that I don't like the base, but I'm having difficulty with the reasoning of the dirt and ice. Not that, how many times have I told you I'm not a scientist? I don't know how shit works. All I know is that if I painted it like snow, it would look silly once I put the real snow effects on. Assume it's like, I assume it's like a lake, and we're like we're on the shore of the lake. In the heart of winter. I don't know. I haven't put any thought into it. I just do colors, homie. I say I'm a million percent. That is better than a hundred percent. A million percent? A million percent! Woo, yeah! TC War Room. He just picked up some Yo Dogs. Picked up 200 Yo Dogs. Says, thanks for the tutorials. They really helped me learn how to paint. Something like that. Changed the way I paint. I think is what he said. I truly appreciate it, brother. Throw that man some love, some hype. Thank you for keeping this stream alive. Well, Sark, I would say if I was going to claim one science title, like one PhD, it would have to be on my contract. I have, a, I, have a, I have my doctorate in contrast. Absolutely. That's the one thing I focus on above all. Ooh, frozen bog. Scully, we're doing it. That's what I'm calling it. That's a good idea. Um, Marshallis. Martalis. Mortalis. Of course. Martalis. Yeah, we'll throw a little frost on the snow, on the dirt. That'd be sick. I like that. <clears throat> Coming in with the detail brush real quick and just bringing the gray down to the dirt. Just 
Just like so. Hairdo, what'd you say? You say something that I, that I missed? I'm no pro, I'm just taking, I'm just talking. What did you say? I just want you guys to know this is a Yo Dog friendly stream. Feel free to use as many Yo Dog emotes as you want. Oh, that's a great idea, Twilight Forge. All right, that's a good that's a good place to set it down for a minute. Yep, gray piles of poop, dog. Just river, I think they're just river rocks, you know what I mean? And don't worry, we're going to have some nice snow drifts laying across it. We got um, secret weapon crushed glass. I'm going to turn this into a paste with some PVA glue. And we're going to create some sick snow effects with it. Right here. This is just a bunch of finely crushed glass. This is going to make epic snow. Still one more name checking in. What's up, man? Long time no see, brother. Today we're, we're taking a desert mesa base and we're turning it into an ice base. And of course... I got to put the orcs back on the picture because they're so tight. Got to advertise for my man, Brian Mole. Okay, guys. Show and tell, guys. Throw any links up you want to talk about right now. Yeah, hairdo. It's all about the lungs with that fucking crushed glass. Clarification says at the end of the month I'll have 1500 yo dogs from view might have to give Kenny five dollars for a gift bag so what you're saying is you pay for shipping and you get a gift bag that works homie oh hairdo I see your comment he said usually frozen ground has a lot of moisture evaporated or frozen as well darker soil with moisture in it will look almost black then frozen that's a good point. I'm gonna throw some uh, some wash in it to try to darken it up, and then do do no light dry brush. Don't forget, guys. Show and tell. Throw some links up. I'm gonna try to get through them quick. I'm gonna pour myself another iced tea real quick, and I just want to shout out some of our donors. TC War Room. Thank you, brother. Hairdo. Thank you. Wolfstar coming in clutch. Tabletop Wargamer or tabletop gamer .com. Orgasmic always here for the Yo Dogs. Twilight Forge, the British Pete, Yori Cassidon, and Bishina. We also got some new subs. We got uh Geneth, Bishina, um Interrupt Speed, Slack Zombie. Synapse. Hopefully I didn't miss anybody, but thanks guys. I'm going to pour out another iced tea for you guys. You guys make this the best part of my job now, guys. Streaming is so much more fun than just painting all day in my Beats Lab. Cheers. Keep it icy. Still one my name is giving me a hard time for not posting the obelisk. I feel like I posted the obelisk. 
Oh, I didn't post the obelisk. I got it. Oh, you didn't post the obelisk. I see. Nan Katan, thanks for the follow. Always keep it icy. Real quick, Dragon. She's always holding it down with her Necrons. Take a look at this. She's so good. That is a bitch of a model, man. Good job. Iron Headed, you think the, fl the thick Vallejo washes? What's up? Hit it up. I'll do it. Oh, yeah, dude. I got those JDAs. Uh, that's actually what I was planning on using right here. Check this out, guys. I got the frozen tufts of grass. They're all like... Uh, they're all white. It's hard to see, I guess. But they are literally like just frozen as shit. That's exactly what I plan on putting on them. After I get the snow on there, obviously. In the dirt piles, you know what I'm saying? Show and tell, show and tell. Grant to go piss. It'll be a raffle on Tuesday. Right here. Tuesday giveaway. It'll be a keyword raffle. No purchase required. No purchase even taken. It's going to be everyone's going to get in with a keyword. Giving out over $130 worth of Chaos Minis to get your Chaos Warband started. Definitely ain't going to want to miss next Tuesday. Tuesday is all about giving back, guys. Two Hellbrutes, Chaos Lord, and bases to go for them all. Whoops. Let me hit up my man uh, Wolfsock right here. He's got something to look at. Oh, damn, this is so tight, Wolfsark. Is this Dark Eldar? Because uh, this is a gigantic picture. This looks good, man. Great job on that super scary skin. Good job. Player Jification finished Karn. I'm going to show off Karn here in a second. It's my man Jesse right there. Impulse. Yep. That's definitely the plan. Nakas. What's up, player? He says, any suggestions on a one... K point comp space wolf list. So you got comp involved. I mean, definitely always swing, always try to get a Thunderstar in there or like a Thunderwolf Cavalry unit. Or if it's 1K, literally a unit of 15 Fenrisian wolves um, with a Wolf Lord attached is a pretty good unit uh, to run across the table and harass people with. Everything else is gravy at 1K. People can't get mad at you for that, for that you know, for. A wolf lord on a thunder wolf with a storm shield, two up armor save, and a power fist, and a big crew of Fenrisian wolves. Still, one more name. One of my favorite people says, "Here's one more of my Raven Guard command squad on bike." Let's take a look at it. For some reason, I can't get the link to work. I saw that bike was in it, but I got rid of that. Uh, I can't get your link to work. Try it again. Yep, that is the keyword. Slow fuse knows. Grazer. What's up, man? Yo, let me show off Jesse's uh, Carn of Betrayer real quick. Good job, man. Eldar Rax. Maybe worse than possessed. 
<laughs> How many points are they? Hypothesis UK coming in clutch, finding me the link I need to use. Thank you, brother. Jesse, good job, brother. I'm going to show up, uh, still one more name off real quick. With his Raven Guard Command Squad looking so clean. Good job, man. Loving it. Don't mention it, Nakas. All right, real quick, let me throw up uh, Grazer. Grazer has a um, Skaven assassin, looking so fresh. Loving this model, homie. Also, I think this is the first time from Pest Jerk. Welcome to the stream, if it's your first time. He's got a Necron model. Looks amazing. Looks like a ghost arc. Great job on the base, man. I already know ghost arcs are a bitch to paint, and this came out great. Loving it. Skaven Wolverine. God. Yeah, Pest Jerk. I know that they're so hard to paint, man. So hard to paint. No doubt. I've got um I've got a box full of um, merchandise to send out this month. I got um Mighty Cthulhu, Nick P one or sorry, the Huff, ready to go with their um, chaos models they got from the top donator giveaways, Scary Terry and our Lords. Um got a swag crate packed for your Kosadon. And I've already got thirty gift bags pre packed with all sorts of goodies, guys. And I'm still waiting on another package to fill them out with. I want to make sure that they're amazing this month. And I'll show you guys real quick. Anyone who hasn't seen it. Here is the Field of Screams base. From Secret Web Miniatures. You're going to get this base. Uh, you're going to get a version of this. Two, of the, two versions of this base in the mail with a 15% promotion code on your next order. Um, all It's good all through October, Halloween. And you're going to be able to basically say, I want all these bases from my army, and you get 15% off. You can't get that deal anywhere else. Like, Secret Web Miniatures came in clutch. And that's not all. I mean, there's going to be way more in the, in, in, in the uh, gift bags than just that. But this guy came out good. We're still waiting on some leaves in the mail to just throw a bunch of autumn leaves on this guy. He came out super clutch. Here is the Summer Tree Lord with his summer base. We got some green leaves to scatter on this base coming in the mail. Give this guy that summer love. And of course, the winter guy, I'm not going to show you the work in progress. We're doing a full-blown studio tutorial on that guy. And he's going to go on this ice base. I mean, it's going to be crazy. Like the amount of contrast on this guy and the insane blues and whites and... Everything is just going to be so crazy, man. I can't wait. Small Cave Studio, what happened?
All right. Okay, so we're going to go back to the base, guys. Let's, um... Got a big old hair on this rock. Got it. Um, hairdo. I've got. I don't have a picture update, but we've got two designs now. We've got an ancient Chinese technique design, and we've got always keep the tip clean. The designs are almost done. They should be done this week or uh, next week. Um, and then I'll start revealing some leaks on them, and then we'll definitely be doing some raffles for those. Give them away. I think we're about to get a tiny dog alert. Okay, so do you guys think I should use the umber wash? Or do you guys think I should use the gloss wash from GW? Tactical Kitten. Thank you for becoming a legend and a subscriber to our channel. Throw that man some love. Hype that man up. Hairdo. I don't have anyone printing them. I don't... I don't see, like, I've been around the t-shirt game for a long time. The t-shirt game is not a game I want to get involved in. I don't want to be sitting on inventory t-shirts. That's literally just, like... Literally just burns holes in your pocket. I'd rather just print them... Uh, individually at high cost and just give them away individually. I don't want to sit on inventory because, like, realistically, bro, like, our stream is good for, like, 30 shirts. You know what I'm saying? Like, so, the only way to get the price on 30 shirts under $20 a shirt, you know what I mean? It's not, it's not even, it's, like, not even realistic. So, it's, like, I'd rather just pay $25 a shirt, you know, and just give them out. Uh, but if there's like an overwhelming consensus that everyone needs a shirt, I'll change that. You know, I might just throw them up on Shopify and let them drop ship everything and not even worry about it, you know? What do you guys think, Wash? You think gloss? I'm thinking gloss too, because the gloss is really dark. I don't know about that, Iron Headed, because here's the thing the gloss wash. Plus black gloss wash is pretty dark. So I'm gonna go gloss. I'm going with the channel. You've been over you've been you've been overruled, Iron Headed. Hair do you do your own print shop? All right, let's talk, bro. Hit me up on firelightpaintinggmail.com, dog. Let's talk. Let's talk business. I'd love to get some shirts out there. It's too late. We're glossing. I'm grabbing black and brown at the same time. And I'm just going to dab it on. Like this. Boom. Let it be written. Let it be done. Always keep it squanchy, Tywin, and he knows. I've rewatched every episode of Rick and Morty in the last two weeks, dog. John Grammaticus. 
Dog, this is, sometimes you just gotta go beast mode, man. This is like, this is like, we're not a scientist, bro. Like, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. I just make shit up as I go, bro. But seriously, dog, I've literally done this 1,000 times. Sometimes I'll be like, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm fucking with you, dog. <laughs> I've been a professional, professional, I've been a professional miniature painter for almost seven years. I know exactly what this wash is going to do. And the only reason I know that is because I've experimented. You got to go hero mode sometimes with your painting. You got to be brave. And you just got to try shit, man. And I've done so many weird things over the years. Um, there's been some failures. For show. <laughs> there's been some shit that you will never see in my gallery. Because I'm so disappointed with it. But at the end of the day, through experimentation... Um, I have definitely developed a technique. I call it the next level painting system, man. And that's what you see me do week after week. It's just versions of the same thing, man. You can apply these fundamentals to anything. Clean execution of wash. High contrast. Incredible transitions. Clean highlights. There's no shortcuts, man. The only, sh I mean, like people think we do shortcuts with an airbrush, but that ain't that is not the case, man. Like, if you, I mean, you guys watch. Like, we painted one base. It took 20 minutes just to paint, just to just to layer the first app, just the first, you know, blue. If you're telling me it's gonna take over three hours per base with this formula, like, please, man, There's, we're not taking shortcuts, man. Like, we're creating, we're creating incredible products. <laughs> John Grammaticus. So now we're getting that real dark um, brown that they were they were talking about, and I'm doing this by dabbing. This is something Ironhead had just talked about before. We're not brushing it on because the problem is is that if you brush it on, you might take off some of the thin brown. We're just dabbing it on because I want it to be real thick. I want it to build up and I want it to create as much darkness. But the, the nature of the wash is that it will settle to the bottom of the texture and there will be a subtle highlight. And then later we'll come back on and we'll highlight it again. And now you see we're painting the rock with the wash. That's easy. Dab it on. <laughs> John Grammaticus, you guys don't even know how bad I was at miniature painting when I started. Everything I show you guys is a technique, it's not a skill. The only skill in life is knowledge. I've learned techniques, man. I've gone to the top of the mountain. I brought back the ancient Chinese techniques. Everything I'm doing, I didn't make it up, man. It, it exists out in the world. I've just consoli I've consolidated the techniques into one place. Anyone can do these. These, these techniques we're using. Any skill level, man. Dumma, what's up, brother? You missed the ice base that we're working on. We took this desert mesa secret weapon base. It's a desert base, and we made it ice. We always keep it icy here, dog. And now we're just adding some wash to the dirt. It's um okay. It's been rebranded as a frozen bog.
Boom. Abbott on black? How do you say it? Alex Cross. Always keep it icy, brother. Thanks for the follow, my man. Zoom in on this a little bit. So we're letting that um, that wash do what it do. We'll come back in with a light dry brush. We'll detail up these rocks. And um, then we'll lay some subtle secret weapon crushed uh glass snow effects over and it will throw some frozen tufts of grass from army painter in there. Oh fuck you Huff. I'm closing both these washes right here. Ain't playing with me. <laughs> fucking <laughs> fucking trying to get me to spill some wash, motherfucker. <laughs> fuck you. You're dead to me. All right, iced tea time. Let's finish this, stro this show strong, guys. You guys ready for some show and tell? I'm going to let that wash dry for a minute. We'll go along if we have to. Don't worry, guys. We got, we got work to do. Red, white, and blue. Tactical Kitten. Hype this man up. He says he's a long time watcher. First time donator. He said, keep keep it icy, can it be? Much love, brother. Yo, for real, dog, I love you, dog. Always, man. Hashtag beast mode. 15 seconds ago, I threw some smearing off ice. Yep, I love to see the hype. <laughs> I'm like typing a message and look up. I was like, good lord. We definitely have the best friends on this show. Sometimes you guys will hit me up on Facebook and be like, yo, long time fan. I was like, dog, I don't have fans. I just got more friends, man. Like, everyone knows, hit me up on Facebook anytime. Hit me up on Instagram. Literally, if I have time, I will engage and I will talk to you guys. Like, it's all about time consolidation right now. If I ever ignore a message, it, it's not an actually ignoring. It's just I haven't gotten to it yet. But I will get to 100% of messages. Dumba. You gotta go play some... You gotta go play chess for class? Hell yeah, brother. Yo, I didn't realize you were a chess player, homie. Good luck. Cheers. Tactical kitten. <laughs> Mm. Is that worth it? Real quick, hype the Huff up. The Huff just literally won three Chaos Base Marines. I feel like I've never done this on stream before. But let me see if I can frame up. Yo, dog. Zangief is my favorite gift of all time. Love you, homie. You're just earning a billion yo dogs. Oh, sorry. This is the dog. the The left arm is the yo, right? <laughs> right? Is it? Is it? Uh, can, I can't get them both in frame. It's literally impossible. <laughs> it's literally impossible. <laughs> 
I would otherwise. My frame isn't right for it. Besides, I got bitch arms. I ain't trying to show them off to anyone. One second, guys. Special feelings in the house. Special feelings, what you got? You know chaos always speaks to my heart. You know a quick way to get on the show and tell is by a chaos. Special feelings. Corn Demon Prince engage. Bow. There it is. Good job, brother. Looking fresh. The Huff. LOL. You're awesome, Kenny. No. You're awesome, dog. Cheers, brother. I just want to say we've had about three iced teas on this stream. Is that accurate? I'm feeling like I've had three iced teas. <laughs> you can open carry license for those guns. I appreciate the flattery, guys. I've never worked out in my life, bro. It's just natural. The only thing you own, special feelings, bro. We gotta fix that. You got to get a we have to get you a gift bag, homie. Legal in the only states that matter. Dragon, yeah, this is Secret Weapons, Desert Mesa. This is the Big Oval. Big Oval. Freestyle Friday, always keep the iced tea, homie. Has anyone tracked how many iced teas we've shared together? I know I'm not playing the next level painting drinking game or I'd be twisted right now, dog. Chocolate wasted. <laughs> Anyone else got some show and tells? Oh, I got something for you guys to look at. Take a look at this. So here's some um, Elric's. You guys all got your Elric's bases in the mail. PSN Mario Flex is gone and it's just hype now. It's just, just hype now, dog. Finest Kentucky Spring Water, dog. You know what's up. At least three iced teas. Check this out. So these are some more Elric's hobby uh, bases. These are some other scrapyard bases. I'm going to paint up three of these in, uh, sorry, go, sorry about that. <laughs> I just got kind of, kind of gangster right there. Um, I'm going to paint these up. I'm going to paint them on stream for, uh, our next tutorial day. And then we're going to raffle them off. Or actually they're going to be painted. I'll let you guys decide. I try to do top donor to give away in painted time. Uh, and I try to do, uh, I want to do raffles on plastic models, but I want to paint these guys up kind of in the vein of our orc army, and then I want to give them back to you guys. Obviously, you guys want a raffle uh, because raffle is more beneficial, but if you are someone who wants it and you want to donate for it, like that, I understand the, the paradigm there, so we might do a vote later, but that is the goal. Paint these up for a tutorial next Friday. Give them out the following Tuesday in some fashion, either top donator or Excellent. raffle. Thusala, thanks for the follow. So that's the idea. We're going to paint the shit out of these, Rustology them. I'm going to sign the bottoms of these to the person that gets them with much love. Always keep it icy. That's the idea. Elric's Hobbies, don't miss them out, dog. Valor Steel, what's up, man? Thanks for checking in, homie. Yo, white girl wasted hairdo. You know what's up. Dog, there's nothing inappropriate on this stream, Dubba. Capital. Oh, you got something for me, homie? Mm. 
Battle of Steel, you got a picture for me? Finishing Mephiston off? Oh, damn. Oh, wow. Guys, check out Mephiston from Battle of Steel. Battle of Steel, this looks good, man. Yo, you came, you came in hot, bro. That shit is tizite. I love it. Fist is near and dear to me, homie. The Huff. We should have you take an all lead uh, dreadnought list to an event this year. You'll get all, all lead dreadnought list. You get ripped. Yeah, no doubt. I feel you, dog. Holy crap, it's late. Holy crap, it's late. What is this? Oh. Holy crap, it's late. Um, I trust you, bro. I know. In case you didn't realize, I'm literally like spikybiz.com, next level, uh, next level painting.com, the long word on that. That's like, my, that's my shit. We pretty much know. We got, we got it. We got investigated journalist named Rob Bear on the scene, but thank you for sharing that with me, dog. Oh, Lauren said hi. Everyone, throw some uh, yo dogs at Lauren. Always biceps for the ladies. Impulse, what you got for me, homie? Holy shit, Impulse. Impulse, why do you even watch? I don't even understand. Like, if this is what you do in your spare time, it doesn't make any sense. Look at this. It's so good. Impulse, man. That is so tight, brother. <laughs> Impulse so crazy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, guys, you know what time it is. Let me introduce the legendary. Uh oh. Jason, a.k.a. Slow Fuse Gaming. <laughs> the legendary. Jason. <laughs> I'm that one. The one that you've heard about. This guy's taught me everything I know. And he's about to go live. I haven't seen you go on yet. Oh, damn it. Turn that shit off. But as soon as my boy goes live, you know what's going to happen. This is the this is Freestyle Fridays. Oh, yeah. Living it up. Some tutorial. Been watching you. Know everything I need to know now how to paint ice. I was... <laughs> I was we, I we, was like biting at the, I was chomping at the bit for today to come. I was like, dude, this is going to be the day. I'm finally going to learn how to paint blue. Blue we, is like my nemesis, man. We always keep it icy, bro. We always keep, you, know, <laughs> you, you know how I learned how to paint blue? Actually, Angel Heraldus is uh, Analog Tutorials, his first book. Master, that's yeah. actually how I learned how to do it. <laughs> that's good stuff, man. Um, but you guys know the routine. Freestyle Fridays, a.k.a. Tutorial Fridays, the bromance between me and Slow Fuse Gaming, Next Level Painting, and Slow Fuse Gaming unite into one media entity. We need oh. to have like um, like some good old chick flick music that plays as uh, we do the handoff. We got to, man. We got to. But you guys... I don't even know what chick flick music <laughs> is, but it sure sounds like it would be fitting. I feel like Dashboard <laughs> Confessional is probably what we need. Dashboard <laughs> Confessional. Isn't that emo crap? That's like drive through records emo crap. I think that's pre-emo. Like, that's like... <laughs> That's like right when they didn't know that they were about to be emo yet. You know what I'm saying? They didn't know that they were crying. And I think they were ironically crying. And then the next wave oh, of was, artists. That was before their girlfriends left them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely, guys. Check out your Yo Dogs. Don't forget. I think we have plenty more streams this month. I see everyone checking out Yo Dogs right now. They're going crazy. Um, but don't forget. You're about to enter into Slow Fuse. We're going to host them. Don't leave yet, guys. Wait till he goes live. We're going to host this guy. And when we host him, let it host. Then click over to Slow Fuse and bombard this motherfucker. Shit in his cereal with Yo Dogs and Ice. It's made out of ice. Oh. 
And oh, we got Jen. Jen's here. Hey. Always. Oh, always. And and everyone know that for the ladies, only biceps. Only biceps for Jen. Only biceps. <laughs> only biceps. Hey, hey, we gotta hold off a little bit, right? Because like she's sitting right next to me. We don't want to get her too excited and anything like that. So you guys be nice. <laughs> Slow Fuse Gaming, a.k.a. Jen and the guy who paints. Anyway, guys. <laughs> Hashtag team That guy Jen. what paints. Hashtag team Jen and that guy what paints. We're about to do this thing, guys. Stay tuned. Follow the instructions. Let's do this thing. Let's keep this thing real. I'm going to count to 15 in my head because that's what Jason told me to do. <laughs> What's going on here, dude? Mm-hmm. <laughs>